Howdy folks and welcome to, I don't know, I don't know what this is. Um, this is Arc Age, but uh, I am not going to be actually showing you anything particular to Arc Age. I just figured uh, I'd talk to you a bit while I'm doing my regular chores around here. Uh, I currently have some alts logged in. That one's one of mine. Uh... I've got another one up there that's AFK, and then uh, up there I've got two more that are AFK. Uh, the reason they're logged in right now is, uh, oops, I didn't mean to click that. Um, they are not patrons. They have to be logged in to earn labor, which is what you're needing to do pretty much anything in this game. Um, but, uh, again, that's not the point of me being in Arc Age. It's just, I had some, uh, stuff I needed to do in another game. And, uh, I wanted to talk to my viewers a little bit. So, I figured, why not, uh, bring y'all along while I'm doing my chores. Uh, <laughs> so, YouTube sucks. Um, <laughs> honestly, that's what it is. Uh, YouTube sucks. And you've all heard it. You've heard a lot of people complaining about it. There are literally thousands of channels that uh, this time last year just stopped producing. Uh, mine being one of them. Um, I am just as guilty as everybody else because, let's face it, the reality is whenever you create a YouTube channel... The whole purpose is you want to try and make a little bit of cash on the side. Now, I'm not talking about making riches or anything like that, but uh, just a little bit of pocket change, you know? Um, because you, you put your videos out there and YouTube is putting ads on it, uh, so your viewers have to sit through ads at least five seconds worth. Um... So it's like, well, you know, you're making my viewers sit through this. Uh, maybe I should get something out of this too, you know. And my whole thinking was, you know, I'm a stay-home dad. I have to be home for my kids anyway. Uh, why don't I do something at home that uh, I can enjoy and make a little bit of coin on the side? So here I am. I decided to start playing games on YouTube and everything was fine you know I, I wasn't making uh, money or anything I hadn't even made my first hundred you know because it's not a big channel I let's face it it's not um, so I wasn't expecting to be making money hand over fist or anything like that I was pulling in change here and there uh, on my analytics and it was cool seeing the little uh, cent sign turn to a dollar sign and uh, the single digit turn to a double digit. It was kind of neat seeing that happen over time. Um, and it was one of those things that, you know, whenever you're doing anything, there are times when you get demotivated. You just, you don't feel like doing it but having those uh dollar amounts gradually increasing every day just little by little it was encouraging because you wanted to see maybe i can make it increase by more you know but like i said i never made the first 100 off of it so to date i have not made a single penny off of youtube uh and i've had this account for years I only started using it fairly recently, or relatively recently. Um, and I was okay with that. You know, it, it that was fine. That didn't bother me. But then, this time last year, or uh, just over a year ago, YouTube decided to demonetize about 99% of their users and that that was not cool <laughs> um, 
you know, I, I've heard people trying to defend YouTube. Oh, they were getting nickel and dime to death. They, so, I mean, from a business standpoint, uh, they didn't want to be uh, bled to death with pennies. But that's just it, though, is they weren't. YouTube wasn't being bled to death with pennies because they made money for every ad that was seen and they paid the YouTubers out of that. So, YouTube was not suffering in that department because of how many uh, YouTubers were actually getting paid. Uh, it was all basically political for a lack of a better term you have these big name youtubers that uh, keep making horrifying mistakes and I I'm using that term very loosely mistakes they they make horrifying mistakes advertisers are angry advertisers don't want uh, their ads showing up on content like that uh, so to appease the advertisers, YouTube decides, okay, if you don't meet this certain criteria, then you're getting demonetized. There won't be ads played on your videos. Okay, except <laughs> the videos that were a problem are well beyond those criteria. So it was pointless what you did did not solve the problem it did not fix what the advertisers were angry about it was eh, whatever but be that as it is um i have kind of recently decided you know what i want to get back to making videos because i was enjoying having something to do you know um uh, because I live in an apartment complex, it's not like I can go out in the garage and just work on stuff. Uh, because, you know, noise violations and all that. So, gaming is really the thing that I can do that doesn't disturb neighbors and all that. Um, and I, I was playing and it was just, things were missing. It's like, you know... I kind of want to swing the microphone around and talk into the microphone again and record again. So I started doing that. And I've been enjoying playing Stone Block 2. Um, it was, uh, it's been pretty fun, uh, but I'm coming up towards the end of it. Now, for anybody who's watching Stone Block 2, you can't tell that yet. <laughs> uh, but I've already recorded like the next three episodes. Uh, because I just got so carried away, but I've been maintaining uh, putting the videos out on Tuesday and Thursday only. And the reason I'm doing that, the reason I say I'm only putting out the videos on these days, even if I have some uh, stocked up, is I'm going to come across something where I'm going to have to wait. And when that happens, maybe I can't wait long enough, and then the next video is late, and it doesn't get out on Thursday, you know. So, to prevent those kinds of backups like that, those delays, uh, I record ahead, and I'm just constantly ahead. So... Yeah, whenever uh, I was having problems with a particular object, uh, mechanism, and stone block, I was like, yeah, I, I got this figured out by the time I put the video up. Uh, I do appreciate the comment that was left for me, uh, because if I hadn't figured it out, that would have been very helpful. Uh, but I did figure that one out. I got it working. Uh, but yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm coming up to the end of Stone Block 2. I'm, uh, quickly running out of things that I can do. So, I'm now to a point, who, wait a minute, Avena? Are you kidding me? Somebody else has it now? Uh, sorry, this right here 
and this right here were both owned by a player and I was waiting for that uh, player to just stop playing and their properties to go up on demolition so that I could take them and apparently they passed them off to somebody else and so there was this big old 16 by 16 house the back side of it right here uh, until just recently because of Apparently, that just got put up. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, stop being distracted. I'm really bad about that. Um, so, since I'm coming to the end of Stone Block 2, I was trying to figure out what it is I'm going to do next because I loved playing Sky Factory. Sky Factory was a lot of fun for me. I enjoyed it. I tried Project Ozone. Uh, Project Ozone 2, I didn't like it because all the recipes were different. So all the stuff that I did know didn't apply. Uh, Stone Block 2, most of the recipes are the same, but there's certain things that have changed, specifically Ender IO. The recipes have changed, and it's a little frustrating because it's like, I know how to make this, I've made this before so many times. Why isn't it working now? Oh, the recipe changed. That's why. <laughs> you know? Um, that's just me rambling, complaining about stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, what am I going to do next? Um, and that's where I'm contacting my viewers is... I'm not an Overwatch player, Fortnite, uh, Apex, Legends, League of Legends. I don't... I don't play those kinds of games. Uh, I've tried, and they just, they're not for me. They're not enjoyable to me. Games like this, though, I love Arc Age. This is probably my favorite game ever. Uh, and the reason why is because you can own property in the world map. You know? Um, like, I can see these farms over here, this building right here, all this stuff. These all belong to different players. I can see them. I can walk up to them. I can go inside them if they leave the front door open. You know? Really neat stuff. Like, I've got my uh, AFKs sitting right there on that uh, bench. Anybody can come up there and visit them. See that they're there. And that's just... That is unique to Arcage. No other game has that. And I absolutely love it. Uh, I enjoyed playing World of Warcraft, uh, Rift, um, Black Desert was enjoyable to an extent, but it seemed to be lacking. To me, the story wasn't that engaging, and the same with Blade and Soul. Blade and Soul just wasn't that engaging to me. I, I did play that one for a while, and... Blade and Soul Episode 1 is still my number one video on YouTube. It's still the most popular one that I have. Um, but I lost interest in Blade and Soul because it got dull. Um, it didn't have the extent of costumes that this game has. You know, it, it does have costumes, but you've got to pay for them. And this one... Most of the costumes I have, I earned. There's a few that I paid for. Um, but even at that, I didn't pay cash. Because there was a way for me to get the currency in the game. So, it's still... There's ways around it. Uh, around the pay par uh, part of this game. Like, this one that I'm wearing right now. This one's from the uh, Valentine's event. Alright. Uh, same as these two up here, which I just skimmed by. All of them got this, uh, by the way. I, yeah, those are the Valentine events costumes. Okay. Uh, let's see here. This one, the uh, cat pajamas. That one, I think, was Gilda Stars. Again, it's not a cash item, I don't believe. Uh, this one I got... A long time ago along with the uh, blue variant again didn't pay cash for them uh, this one is from logging in every day 
Uh, same as the dark variant to it. And it's just, I've got all these costumes that are really neat. And I like this kind of stuff. And they just don't have all of that in other games. And if they do, you've got to pay for them. And then there's this. All this property is mine. Uh, this little silo right here. Uh, this miner's farmhouse. This little tiny garden right here. This house. Uh, this pavilion. This house right here. And then uh, this farm back here. These are all mine. My character owns them. And as long as I have patron, my character will continue to own them. There's no other game that does that. <laughs> uh, I wish there was. I wish there were a lot more games like that. Because I'd love to play them. I'd love to check them out. It's an awesome mechanic. Um, and then there's also the character models themselves. Uh, I mean, the detail on just the character models. The fidgets that they have. Um, let me see here if I can get close enough to one of my alts uh, so you can see it let's see this one right here I think I can get there you go yeah, little details that you can throw on them stuff like that again World of Warcraft doesn't even have that they've still got slightly square butts <laughs> you know um, so I mean I like pretty graphics I like it to look good and then certain things like this land ownership that's awesome i love that i know that that's not going to be anywhere else but uh then there's also minecraft i mean i love sky factory sky factory was great i would love to play the next iteration of it or even go back and play 2.5 again you know um so i'm just I'm just wondering, what would you guys like to see? What would you uh, like me to put up as the next series that I'm working on? Is there a uh, specific MMO that you want to see? Uh, I will not do modded Skyrim uh, for a couple of reasons. One, it takes a lot of time to set it up the way that I like it. And two, it's not going to be appropriate for YouTube. I will get my channel taken down. <laughs> um... But, uh, any other RPGs, MMOs, um, uh, none of the first-person shooters, uh, games like Minecraft or, uh, some of the mod packs from Minecraft, let me know. Let me know what you'd like to see. I'd like to, uh, try to accommodate. Um, and if you throw your comments down below, I will answer. Uh, so, I think that's going to do it for today, folks. Um... Let me know if you enjoyed this, if uh, this kind of talky thing was interesting. If you'd like to see more Archage, uh, I don't have any brand new characters. So, I mean, it's not like I'm going to be showing you anything new. And I'm a farmer. I'm not uh, one of the PvP or raiders or anything like that. I just do farming. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you, if you enjoyed this, if you want to see something in particular, let me know. Uh, go ahead and leave a like comment um and go ahead and subscribe while you're at it it really does help more than you know um but until next time bye <laughs>